Hi guys, this is Chris. Welcome back to the theallinonesystem.com. This video, we're going to go over these eight critical email marketing mistakes to avoid. So let's jump right in. Be strong. Be strong. Okay, I'm on the theallinonesystem.com blog. Let's just click on eight critical email marketing stake. Uh, mistakes to avoid and we're going I'm going to go over these fairly quickly just to give you some idea of what not to do okay let's jump right in right here <clears throat> selecting your email number one selecting your email marketing provider based on startup pricing okay that is a huge mistake even though the cost of initial startup is important as you can see right here it can be deadly here's what I mean most of the major email marketing providers like Aweber, MailChimp, GetResponse, SeedGrid, etc., they offer a free platform until you reach 500 subscribers. Looks very nice and enticing, <laughs> but like I put on my blog post here, it's like offering drugs to a drug addict. Can be deadly. Here's what I mean. When your email marketing subscriber base grows, your cost with those guys grows okay so the more successful you are the more you're gonna have to pay for it okay let me show you what I mean let's jump over here real quick let's go to Aweber and Aweber.com just click on pricing you can see they have a free plan up to 500 subscribers that's all well and good let's take a look at as your subscriber base grows what happens to your monthly cost okay as it's growing you see your monthly cost grows that is not good okay at 25,000 subscribers 146 per month and they don't go up anymore if you have a successful business with let's say a hundred thousand subscribers now what's your monthly cost gonna be and see that is that they give you that monthly cost on an annual basis so the monthly is even higher. Let's go over here now to get response. Uh, go to pricing page, and you can see right here, free up to 500 contacts, and as your contacts grow, your monthly cost grows. And let's look over here at 1,000, 100,000 contacts, which you're gonna need 100,000 contacts <clears throat> in order to have a successful business most of the time, depending on what niche you're in. You can see 573 a month, that's absurd, okay? That's why I put this blog post, that can be deadly, okay? They are sucking you in, trying to get your money, <laughs> okay? Want to make it easy to get started. Don't fall for that, okay? Number two, giving control over your server to a third-party email marketing provider. Same thing, whether it's get response, do not do that. Maintain control over your email server. That way, they can never shut you down, okay? And if you, if you wake up one morning, like it's happened to me three times within a two-year period, we have disabled your email marketing account because you violated certain terms and conditions. I, to this day, I don't know what that what I did or did not do. Okay, so do not give control over your email server. That's what they're trying to do is suck you in. Okay, now, do not craft your emails to yourself but to your reader keep your reader in mind and the big the key word here is providing value to your reader just think about your reader what they need what how can you help them in their business keep that always in mind and always personalize your emails big mistake is when you do not personalize your emails just think about it for a second when somebody calls your name you normally turn around right or respond so make sure you personalize your emails and number five, make sure you create a good subject line. You can do a Google or YouTube search about good subject lines. Ask a question. Normally, that's a good one. Uh, you want to make it intriguing and make them think about something that could help them. Okay? So take a look at your email inbox. Which emails do you read and which ones do you delete? Copy the subject lines and tailor them to your personality and your business. Okay, number six, it is not the number of emails you send that's important, it is the engagement. Okay, we wanna, if nobody opens your emails, then guess what's gonna happen? You're going to have a bad domain reputation, and you can go to uh, postmaster.google.com to check your domain reputation, and if 
you have not installed the text record that you need in your domain hosting, then they'll give it to you. I'm not going to do that right now, but make sure engagement, people are opening and reading your emails. That's why what I do, and I'll we'll get to this in just a second, as far as engagement is concerned. <clears throat> okay. Not knowing your domain reputation. That is important. Postmaster.google.com. They'll give you a piece of a text record to put in your domain hosting so you can start establishing a <clears throat> domain reputation. Okay. Now, number eight, I use double opt-in for my newsletter. Let me show you what I mean right here. Okay, my newsletter right here. I use double opt-in on everything. I want validity. I don't want spam, okay? When you enter your email, it's going to ask you for to confirm your email address. That way I'll know your email is valid and I don't have an email list full of spammers, okay? There's plenty of robots out there. Make sure you use double opt-in for your newsletter. If you want a system like this, the theallinonesystem.com, just come up here to services and I can help you right there. Or you can come to the free ebook and it'll walk you through how to do this yourself. You can set it up yourself if, if, if you like. But if you need any help, just reach out Chris at theallinonesystem.com. Make sure to subscribe below to our new channel. And until next time, bye for now.